bond formation by carbon. In this module, you will learn how a carbon atom forms bonds. Carbon is present in a large number of substances around us like paper, food we eat and most importantly, all the living beings. But an important point to notice is that carbon in all these things is present in the form of certain compounds. These compounds are formed as a result of the bonding between the carbon and other atoms. Let us now see how a carbon atom actually forms bonds with other atoms. The atomic number of carbon, as you already know, is 6. So, a carbon atom has 6 protons and 6 electrons and its electronic configuration is 2, 4. Looking at electronic configuration, we can say that it has 4 valence electrons and thus its combining capacity of valency is 4. So, a carbon atom does not have a stable noble gas electronic configuration. The presence of four electrons in its valence shell suggests that there can be three possible ways by which a carbon atom can achieve the stable configuration. These include the loss of four electrons, the gain of four electrons and the sharing of four electrons. Let's discuss these possibilities one by one. First possibility is the loss of four valence electrons. Removal of an electron from an atom requires some energy. Thus, the removal of four electrons from a carbon atom would require a lot of energy. The loss of electrons, if it would happen, results in the formation of a cation that would have only two electrons and six protons. The size of this cation would be extremely small and the cation would be highly unstable. So, this possibility is ruled out. Let's now move to the next possibility, that is the gain of four electrons. Once again, forcing four electrons into the valence shell of a carbon atom requires a lot of energy. Further, this would lead to the formation of an anion with six protons and ten electrons. It would be very difficult for six protons to hold 10 electrons, making the anion very unstable. Therefore, the gain of electrons would also not be favored. So a carbon atom is left with the third and last possibility to achieve the stable configuration, which is to share the four valence electrons with other atoms. For example, a carbon atom shares its four electrons with four hydrogen atoms. Each hydrogen atom has one electron in its outermost shell. So, it shares one valence electron of the carbon atom and achieves the noble gas configuration. At the same time, the carbon atom gets to share the valence electron of each hydrogen atom, thereby getting eight electrons in its valence shell. Each pair of shared electrons now belongs to the outermost orbit of both the atoms involved. Therefore, both the atoms get stable noble gas configuration. Such a sharing of electron pairs between two atoms results in the formation of a bond, which is known as a covalent bond. In the example, we have just seen the carbon atom is making four covalent bonds with four hydrogen atoms. This results in the formation of molecule of methane. A molecule of methane can be represented as shown here. Here, the lines between C and H represent the covalent bonds. Similarly, a carbon forms similar covalent bonds with four chlorine atoms. Let us see how. Each chlorine atom has seven electrons in its outermost shell. So, each chlorine atom shares one valence electron of the carbon atom and achieves noble gas configuration. At the same time, the carbon atom gets to share the valence electron of each chlorine atom, thereby getting eight electrons in its valence shell. Thus, a molecule of carbon tetrachloride is formed, which can also be represented as shown here. Let's recap. A carbon has four electrons in its outermost shell, and so it does not have a stable noble gas electronic configuration. If a carbon atom loses four electrons, it forms a highly unstable cation. So it does not happen. 
If a carbon gains four electrons, it forms a highly unstable anion. So, it also does not happen. To achieve the stable noble gas electronic configuration, a carbon atom shares its four electrons with other atoms. Sharing of an electron pair between two atoms leads to the formation of a bond called the covalent bond.